don't know if I brought enough boxes. All right, it's about to come out here. All right, I now have a truck filled with plastic bags <laughs> full of frozen pork. Uh, looks like quite a bit. Uh, we'll get it home here and get it all out and see what's in these bags. Well, here we go. We gotta find room in all the freezers for this. So it looks like the hanging weight on those pigs was ranged from about 114 up to 137. That was hanging weight on, on those, and there was three of them. So, uh, man, let's see what we got in here. I, I, I don't know exactly how much we're gonna have. I know kind of what I ordered, but uh, let, let's see what it ends up being. All right, so a lot of this is breakfast sausage, pork chops, and there's five per package for pork chops. All this uh, ground is just ground sausage. Pork chops. And we got all the pork fat also, so you can use that for cooking and other things. And here's what I've been waiting for, bacon. Put that all down here. So that's 12 packages of bacon right there. They're about a pound each. That's from one pig, I think. About a four pound ham. A couple of those. I also had some of these pork sausage links made. So just breakfast links. Well, other than just a few other items in here, we've got a couple of turkeys that we raised and had butchered this winter and some of our whole chickens still left in there. But the majority of everything that is in this freezer other than, uh, I don't know, maybe 15 pounds of stuff we put inside. This is all from those pigs. Look at all that meat. Man, is that awesome. All this ground sausage, pork chops, all these different roasts, different kinds of, uh, of roasts, all those hams, 12 hams in there. They're half of a ham each, I guess they cut them in half. More pork chops and some breakfast sausages. And all of this bacon. 30 pounds of bacon. Some uh, spare ribs. All right, so just to give you a little background on these pigs, these uh, were three American guinea hog boars. They were about 14 months old. Uh, they were born last spring, and so I think they were right around 14 months. Uh, they had been raised out through the winter and through last summer on uh, hay, um, regular pig food from you know your feed stores, uh, uh, local feed places, and also from uh, like TSE and Family Farm and Home. Whenever we uh, were in the area, we got feed from different places. Um, they got a lot of our food scraps, kitchen scraps, uh, they got a lot of eggs, extra eggs and things like that from the chickens. Uh, they were also fed a lot of pasture at the end there. The last few months they were out on a uh, pasture. Um, they got a lot of weeds and grass clippings and other things. So they ate a lot of kind of hopefully natural things and they did a lot of rooting and stuff like that. So, so I loaded these pigs up, took them to the processor 10 days ago and uh, picked them up today. The total that we paid was $514 to process the three pigs and that was for basically all of this. So I'll give you a tally of what we got. We got 32 pounds of ground uh, sausage. We got two pork shoulder roasts, uh, 26 pork chops. Now, uh, the bags of pork chops had five uh, pork chops each. So that's 26 bags of five pork chops each. So well over 100 there. Uh, there are just four bags of ribs. We didn't get all of them. Uh, we didn't get ribs uh, made on all of them, just uh, four uh, packages. 30 pounds, 30, 31 pound bags of bacon. Uh, we got 12 hams, so uh, each pig has two hams, and they're each cut in half, and so it ended up with being 12. 12 of the, sm of the butt roast, and those are actually anywhere from three to four pounds, as I showed you. Uh, there were also some loin roasts in there, and that was, there were just two of those, and then there was six packages of those breakfast uh, sauces, links uh, in there. Also two bags of the pork uh, lard, um, pig lard, whatever that we have, that we use for various things. Uh, you can make soap with it, you can use it for cooking, and uh, lots of other stuff. So I don't know how many total pounds we took in. Every package is marked with the, you know, the weight, but I didn't add up all the weight. I just added up the total tally of, of what, uh, you know, each package that we got. 
we're super happy with uh, with the outcome of that. It is expensive, you know, to get these pigs processed, to get them all, you know, butchered and get all that meat processed into different things and some of it's you know smoked and and uh, they add seasoning to it obviously and make sausages and do all that other stuff and so there's you know there's some you're going to pay for that uh, we could have processed the pigs here but we weren't we wouldn't be able to do all that stuff here we just we're not set up we don't have a big enough kitchen to do all that you know, here at our house and so we do have to take them to get them processed but you also have to add in all the cost of you know uh, feeding them for 14 months and that's a long time to feed them now we didn't pay for the pigs originally because they we bred those those pigs were born here on this farm and raised from the moment they were born up until the moment, moment we uh, we processed them and so uh, we know what they ate we know how they lived we know everything about them and uh, this is very healthy uh, meat as far as pork is concerned uh, although pork does have a little bit more uh, fat to it it's still a, a good uh, a good meat to eat and that is it we have a freezer filled with bacon and ham and pork chops and all kinds of good stuff so that's uh you know the result of actually almost two and a half years of raising pigs we bought the the two originals as um as piglets they're only about eight weeks old we raised them up bred them together then they had their babies we ra raised them up as and that's the three pigs that we just took into process so we've been waiting a long time for this bacon so so a lot of investment of time and money goes into raising these pigs we try to have a sustainable operation with these animals and that was the whole idea with these pigs from the very beginning we want them to be born here we want to be able to raise them breed them and uh, and raise them out for for pork for ourselves uh, we also recouped most of our costs for the year from feed for the pigs uh, by selling off the other uh, five uh, piglets from that litter um, at 150 to 200 dollars a piece um, that pretty much paid for the feed for all the pigs for the year including the mom and dad so we really in a way didn't have to pay for the feed for these animals uh, because we were able to sell those piglets off um, as a registered animal they bring in a pretty good price so let me know what you guys think uh, man maybe we should do some uh some cooking videos i don't know things you can make with with all this pork we might, I might weigh an extra 50 pounds by next year. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, as always, guys, don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video. And, of course, subscribe if this is your first time to the channel. Hopefully you guys liked a little update on the pig operation. We still have lots of pigs here. We're not out of the pig business yet. And we'll see how that goes. Maybe we'll, we'll keep a few. I don't know. Uh, it depends on how good this bacon is. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.